Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here going to do the Roxy Creations Challenge today. So before we get started, I want to say hi and hugs to Life Mix, Colleen, Jane, and the Little Gypsy. Thank you so much for watching and for your nice comments. And yeah, we are going to do the little scrap pads that Rachel did on her challenge. Um, I had these pages from, they're from Reader's Digest, but they had some kind of fun pa uh, pictures on them. So I had saved these. I think we're going to go ahead and just use these for, um, kind of for the uh, background or um, holder, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I want to cut these down. These two are three. Well, they're all kind of different sizes. I was going to cut them all together, but I best not. So I'm just going to cut this off a little bit that way. And then I'm going to slice it a bit on the sides as well. Just make it a little smaller size. And... We might do some big ones too, who knows? Okay, do this one a little bit on the bottom. So hope you're all having a good day. I just got back from lunch with a friend and that was nice. And yeah, that's gonna work, I think. I think these are gonna work and they've been in my pile, so it's good to Good to use them up. No uniform size, as you can tell from my random chopping here. I mean, you could do them in a uniform style, but I am not. This one's Christmas, so I think I won't use that one. And so is that. What's this? I must have just decided I wanted the... Let's make one that size. No reason we can't. Okay, I think I might switch out from my deckled edge here. Because I kind of like them to have that going on okay so then the idea is that I'm gonna fold these over um, Rachel did some stamping on hers these have writing so I'm probably not gonna do that but I will fold them over and so all your little scraps are gonna go in here and then I'll have that on the back. That'll be kind of kind of nice to have that background. That's cute how it has that, isn't it? So Rachel did four. Um, I might see if I can do see if I can do five. Um, Rachel hand stitched across the top. So once all the scrap papers are in there, then she put a couple little stitches on each side. And then she said, then you could cut them and then you could use your, your scraps. I decided since, since I had this happening that I might, so what I'm going to do is I have a lot of altered paper clips and I'm just going to put an altered paper clip on them. So that's my plan. Um, I thought, oh, how am I going to do this? <laughs> I mean, I can slow stitch. It's just, it just hurts at this point. So, okay. So scrappy papers. I've got my rectangle scraps. So this is scrapbook paper. These are a couple of pages that I had left over from a journal. And then I have 
this scrappy, scrappy bit. So um, we'll see what all, what all we can add in here. Let's see. I am going to dig down a little bit and get some papers from the bottom. Oh, those could be cute. Cut out. There's something fun. Um, and oh, these would be fun in there, too. Okay. Okay. So, I don't know if we're going to need to chop down or anything, but we've got our cutter if we need to. I think I might put one of these in each one. These are the pages from my um, Francis Brundage book, and I've used the images that were on the other side. These are the written pages, so there's five of those. Um, this is a nice piece from a, fr my French ephemera. Maybe we'll chop that down a little bit. And just put that in there. Put that in that one. Um, let's do okay so right about there I need to chop so that Rachel she's just coming up with all sorts of fun things I think so now I need to go about right there and then as Rachel suggested I can use this as my template for how big the pages can be in this one right yeah okay so let's see we could put this one in there too um i think i'll fold this one up like that okay how about this one yeah, it's about the right height anyway. So, we'll just chop it off here. It's torn on the bottom, but that's I that's fine with me. And they don't all have to be as wide. Let's see. That one's the right height. Let's look at this. Yep, that'll work. Um, 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 what else? Those might work on the other one. There's more French ephemera. It's a little long. So let's just cut off a bit. And I think that might be enough for that one. Gosh, I've just <laughs> got stuff all over the place, don't I? Let's just let's just grab this stuff out of the way for a minute so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this one, I think I might like that on the front. I think I'm gonna put the butterflies there, that there, that's there. There, there, and there. And this is a little over four and a half, so it should fit fine in a journal. So then you just put those in. She stitched, but I'm going to put a clip on them like that. Do I want to do anything on there? I'll decide that. I'll get their pages in, and then I might do something because the writing's upside down. So we might have to do something about that. Okay, I'll set that one up there, and then we'll do these. The longest is this. 
These two are about the same width, not even. This one's the widest. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that fits, that fits great. That fits just perfect. Okay. Um, let's see, how does this one fit? It's a little bit too long. I can, excuse, <coughs> oh, excuse me. You know, it's becoming, if it's not my video, if I don't sneeze in it, I, I tell you what, it's just a little crazy. Ooh, this would be fun. This writing, I need to get the digis made of that. I'm, it's on my list, guys. I will get it done. I, I promise. Oh, I was gonna put one of those in every one, and I did in the last one. So, I'm just thinking these two can go in one. Let's put. Let's do this. Let's do this one. And let's put it over to the side, over to the side, kind of, like that. Okay. Okay, and then we'll have one in this one. So, what else? Can put that in there. That'd be fun. Kind of keeping all my chop offs. Oh, needed to chop a little more. Um, over here on the side, and I'll put those in my bin of small scraps. Um, that'd be fun, but I need to, I'm, I'm going to clean up the edge just because it's on top a little bit. I'll clean that up just a skosh, too. Okay, that can go in there. I haven't yet gotten to my any scrap paper. I feel like this goes kind of fast. Let's see, what do I have in here? Let's put some of that, that'd be fun. Um, my husband is, um, he's running the snowblower out of gas, I guess, to store it for the summer. You're supposed to have no gas in it. <laughs> so, so he's doing that, and it's, it's ever so noisy out there. So I'm sure our neighbors are real appreciative of it all. But has to get done, you know. Put that one in there. That's fun. Just a variety. Am I in, on screen over there? I am. Okay. Good, good. Um, have this little digital of mine. Would be good. Chop that. And that might be good for another one. Okay. Um, I did what I didn't do is grab well grab this. These are super fun. I love these. You know what I'm gonna do is chop off the white, even if it's sideways, because whoever is going to take this apart anyway, right? And use these things for collage. So how about leading through the scraps over here, guys. How about one of these from, these are from Mrs. Cogs. That'd be pretty on the front, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's do that for the front of this one. Oh, you know what I forgot to grab, so I might have to do that, is I forgot to grab my, um, I think I'll put this under that, because, um, I forgot to grab my feed sack fabrics, 
because I want to make one of these for my sewing journal too. Um, I'm going to look and see if I have something that would go nice in the middle there. I just want a little something right there. These are too long. Um, what do I have? How about I have this? Oh, isn't that pretty? Let's do that. And then we just need to find... See, in these ones, I don't think I have to do really anything as far as decorating on this part that folds over because I can just use um, use the clip. That's a cute little one that was gifted to me. Isn't that a cute one? I love how that came out. Okay. Yeah, this one still needs something, definitely. But I'll put that one over in the stack. This is fun. What a great way to use up scraps, too. I'm going to go grab Excuse me. Talk amongst yourself. Okay. Oh, and I have I have these little scraps too. I bet you there's some in there that would be just the right size even. Okay, those are too small. Um, you know what I mean? Like like look at that one. Well, there's more than one there. There's three. Ooh, those are good paid pieces. Um, that one's just a tiny bit too long. These are good. That's going to be too long. That one fits perfect right there. Look at that. It's the exact right size. Okay. Well, we'll we're going to work on this one then. Let's put, let's put one of these and let's put some, let's use this as the, I'll use this one as the guide. Let's do some, okay, that's a little short, but that's okay. We'll just worry about the width here. And I'm going to do it a little bit shorter than what this is. That's about right. Okay, and this one's longer. That'll be awesome because then whoever gets the, the journal, they have a few collage pieces that they can play with, you know? I think it's really a fun idea, Rachel. And like I say, I've done these, but I did them way smaller. And so, this is cool to have it be longer. Okay, so then what other kinds of more neutral papers do I have? Um, just digging over here in my other... Oh, here's a good one. This is a good one. Let me go this way. that one in there um I think I want some music and maybe a little book page let me I'm gonna have every scrap I own out <laughs> I'm looking at these They're about the right this one might be Ooh, that's perfect Okay. Um, so 
Well, got a little book page in here too. Here's some fun um, dictionary pages. What do I have left? I might have to figure out some other um, covers because I could make these all day. Let's, let's get some music out here too. Alrighty then, let's see. This one I was thinking for this because it could, oh, I think I'm going to cut it off because um, I don't think it's going to fold very well. It's pretty brittle. Great for collage though. And let's do a little music. I'm going to go this way with my music. Okay, if I do that about right there. Okay. That's what six six pieces, which is pretty good. Is there anything else in here that might be good? I like to have something maybe like that. Let's see. I'm going to put this one on the top. This one here. Just kind of stack them up so they go sort of every other one is. Okay. And then that one. And then that. Now we just need to find a cute paper clip. There's all sorts of cute paper clips in here. Okay, that one's a side one, so that won't work. That one's a side one, so that won't work. I'll set, I'll set those aside. This is super cute. This is one of these little ones that's a pocket, like that. Then I don't know if I want that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to put there. So cute. So cute. If I find, well, let's see, what's an extra piece of paper I could put in there? Um, let's do this one. About right there. I need to have another session of making altered paper clips. There you go, Rach. There's a, there's a subject for us. A little, um, I'm going to want that there. That's going to cover that up too much. Put it behind. Um, Alter paper clips we could do for uh, Rach's weekly challenge. Roxy's weekly challenge. Okay, that is adorable. I need to make some more of those. I love those. Okay, so I love that. That's going to go in my sewing journal. Okay couple more here. So this one fit with this. Just need a little bit taken off. A little Cory Dahman strip width <laughs> is what I think now. Nowadays. Now that she's got me completely hooked. Okay. What is this is fun. This is a um that's just a piece of jelly print, but that'd be fun in there. Um, this one's kind of more bright colors. So what do we have in the, this is more like jelly printy. Let's, let's use one of these tags, except, but 
I'm thinking of just chopping off the tag part because it is too long. So let's just chop off the tag part. Kind of a little long, so we'll make this side raggedy too. Okay. That. Ah, it's still a little bit long. Didn't take off enough. There we go. Oh, goodness sakes. My Velcro is starting to give out on this thing. Oh, I have a feeling I'm going to be supporting the, uh, the, um, whatever you would say. <laughs> the brace industry oh that's cute on there okay we'll put that one in there um how about how about let's do one of these Gosh, I haven't thought about, I haven't thought about, um, what to, I spell the word and now I can't find it, antenna, <laughs> antenna, not antler, antenna, right there, um, I haven't thought about what else to make the base out of, I had those four because, but I think we're we're moving right along here. Okay, um, so that let's see what else we have in our it's kind of bright colors in that. I think I might might do this. Paper was all um, all bent. Send it about right there, right here, right. Okay, that was good. Um, I might bend that down. Let's do that. That can be the front. That'd be cute. Good. I want to do at least six, um, at least six pages. Uh, let's just see if there's. Maybe we'll cut that out and use that. something on the back too and I just put that right down there cut around that in a minute okay so we need to find a paper clip for this one again we've got one of these Cute. Oh, I love this one. So cute. Doesn't go with that one really. Is it gonna be one too wide for this one? I'd love to use it. That's just what I'm thinking. Okay, I'm gonna call that one. Call that one done. 
and then there's this one. Let's see. This is a little wide and a lot long. Was so nice. The um, an ornamental crab tree was blooming outside the restaurant today. It was like oh, so so pretty. Okay, anything in here? Oh, I have this. Mm. I feel like it's a little matchy. Um. Oh, geez. One of these would be nice. I think I might put that on the front. But I'm going to take a little bit off. Yeah, we'll put that in the front. Let's use this as the... Oh, we have this. Oh, and I keep forgetting to put these in. I didn't put it in this one. I know. in there. Did I put one in the one for my sewing journal? I don't think I did. Okay. Put this one in there. Okay. Awesome. Okay, we gotta get this chopped down. Okay, half hour. About 2.30. Okay. What else do we want? We want some more, um, some more pretty papers. How about this one? From a jewel design, I believe. Let's chop that down. Oh, I'm excited. We can make some more of these, but I need to um, figure out out of what, <laughs> what's going to be the base, which I can make some scrapbook paper the base, couldn't I? Okay. Um, what's one other one? Put this little guy in there. That's cute. And what else do I have? What else do I have? I'm going to just chop this in half. Okay. So let's put this one together. Okay. that and now let's find a I don't know if th I, this one's too big it's kind of cute mm, it's not totally speaking to me I have more of these Covers up too much, I feel like. I have several of those. Made a bunch. That was Corey Dahman that showed that. Let's see what this one is. That's cute. It's 
Some of these were gifted to me like that one. What about this one? This one is an over the page and belly clip. One's not going down far enough. Okay. I'm going to do that one. Well, this is a sideways one. Oh, I do kind of like that though. So far, that's my choice this little slide one. Oh, nope, that's not a paper clip. I have a bunny one. New, new, and new. Oh, this flips up. It's like a little... Oh, I think I'm going to go with this one. Gosh, it took me forever on that one, didn't it? Sorry, I'm dropping them. Okay. Okay, so then I think what I should do is go ahead and do something with this something with that. I'm looking in my scraps here to see if I have anything that I like. I like that. Yep, I'm going to put that on there. Oh, I could do some, could do some, um, you know, blank papers that are more for writing on the back or whatever. Couldn't I? Do I want to ink that? Probably. Um, so, I have five made and so for the backs, I think I might just do scrapbooking paper because I'm looking down at my pile where I got um, where I got these pages and I just don't see anything that really looks like oh I want that on the top got a little bug got a little friend today Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do because then the, um, other than I am going to give this, because this one's really white, white, white. Give it a little bit of ink and then Okay. Now I consider this one done. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? Oh, there's just ever so fun. I love them. Okay, so let's make a few more. What time is it? Okay, we've got 20 minutes. Let's find, um, let's, I think this would be a nice, this would be nice. Actually, cut in half, we could do two. Okay, well now that's going to have a little jaggedy edge. That's kind of fun. All right. Get rid of that. Okay, so then we're going to just fold them down. These are going to be a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Where's my... I know I brought my... Um, yep, there it is. My bone folder over. Now, if I made this semi the same, it would be good because then I can cut my 
paper is the same, right? Okay, so two more little ones. Um, 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 um. If I cut off the A's. About there. And cut this in half. How big is it? It's about six and a half. Let's go. Let's go right there. Okay, and then there's kind of one for each. Let's do one of these for each. Music. Now let's put some pretty papers in. I had one over here that I was thinking would be fun. There's this one. Um, and this one I was thinking would be fun too. Um, so let's. Edge. I don't know why I'm liking I'm liking the deckled edges a little bit on the on the papers inside. Okay, there to there, right there, and let's cut this one. I haven't had much time for chatting, have I? I just, I just got right to this. Kind of a fun little embroidery in each one. Yeah. Oh, that's a little long. And you know what, though? It doesn't really matter if it's a little bit long, you know. I don't think. Okay, and this one. Gotta get the white edges off this one because they show. Ones are these ones are going to be little um, embroidery ones, kind of. And then we need to cut them off. I'm going to have a lot of good collage pieces here, I feel like. And the little bitty scraps that we're making. Okay, there's that one and this one. Very fun. Okay. I'm going to put this, this, and this. And that. I think I'm going to go this, and this, and this. Need to decide if that's what I want on the front. That's kind of pretty on that one, isn't it? This one, I think this one would be better with this one on front because otherwise the pretty embroidery is not going to show. Okay, but we need some more papers in there. Let's see what we have. It's too wide. Let's 
Mm, there's this pretty one. That might be fun, like on the on the front. It's a little wide, isn't it? Okay. Um, do we want this for over here too? Daisy's cute. I, I think I want it, but I think I want to keep this on the front. Okay, oops, I said I wanted that on the front, didn't I? All right, so what else do we have that would be good? Um, we got some, some of these could be fun. Maybe I'll just do a couple pieces of that. That. There's this one. Goes good with that. Okay, let's look over here again. Um, I do have this, which is just right. Okay, I cut a couple of these. a couple of these in there. I think that's let's see two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Let's see what we can find for um I need them stacked up better. <laughs> I can't tell. This one. That to come over and that to come over. Okay. Um, it's kind of nice. I think I might really like it over here. Yeah. I need to make some more of those, these little guys. You know what, I'm gonna keep this bunny one for my idea journal, because I don't have one of those in my idea journal. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, let's see what else we have, other than the ones that we've looked at already. What might be good on you. That's kind of pretty. I wanted to look at this one too. Oh, that's a sideways one. Darn. Okay. real pretty. It's kind of a sideways one. That's not... That one's so cute. Oh, I wonder if I want that on my sewing one because it kind of goes... 
Sorry, I'm talking real low. I, I just realized. Nope. This is just too pretty. Gotta go with this one. Okay, let's just see what else we have. This one's an over the page one. I think I like that better. That's a side one. That's real pretty too. Nope, not on that one. fun. Got all the dingle dangles. Um, oh dear. Which one do I like better? I think I like that one. Okay. It's back in here. All right. So that one is going to go on there. I'm just a little bit quicker only because I'm not sewing. So, but you know, it holds the paper really good. So it's great. Okay, so there's those two. How are we doing? Oh, we have time for one more, I think. I want to use some of this paper. And I want to use, how about some braille paper? That'd be fun. And we just need to find a cover. What's that? And, and let's use this. Look, it's already, it's already down. And we can use like taller paper on this one. I'm going to cut it off a little. Excuse me. Um, but the braille part's kind of the cool part, so I need my bigger. Let me just, I'll just use scissors. Okay. And then, yeah, that'll be, oh, except we're putting these in journals, right? Well, that would fit on a page. So, glad I checked it, but let's let's take off one more inch or so. About right there. Then we'll have no problem at all. Yeah, seven and a quarter. Let's see. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I wanted, to use, I wanted to use this paper, but I don't know. I guess I could. That's not gonna fit, so no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use. It. Okay, let's find some other cool papers. That's this one. That is cool. It's a bit of a. Roxy Creations paper, I do believe. Cool. Okay. Um, about a music page. And I'm thinking that, I'm thinking the one book page might just, might just fit as is. Yep. Okay. Let's just clean this up a little. And go down this away. And 
this off. Oh, maybe we'll cut off just another little bit. Okay. What else do we have? Oh, we have this. That could be kind of fun on the front, wouldn't it? Kind of a more, little more grungy one. Um, what else I've got? A bit of coffee dyed paper here. If we did a bit of that. I think I kind of like that, like that. Oh, and then what about? I'll be able to find them now, probably. Oh, there's a little piece of Tim Holtz paper. How about we put, might cover up too much. We'll put that in the back here. Um, I was thinking of this, maybe. Oh, I'm just tickled to pieces to um, have uh, used up so many scraps. Okay. Yep, I'm going to put that there. We kind of over Let's put this here and this here. Okay, and that's pretty thick, so we're going to call that good. And then let's, hey, do I have, well, one of these would be cool. Yeah, one of those would be cool. It says yes. <laughs> I'm going to take it at face value. It says yes, I'm going to believe it. Okay, then we have a great big old one. Woo! We did it. Let's see. How are we? We're good. So it wasn't 45 minutes. It was more because it was the whole video probably. But um, this is what we got done. So we got this one. It's bigger. This one measures seven and a quarter by um, about four and three quarters. So that's a bigger one. And this one, that's a smaller one. About three, a little more than a three and a half, and about four and three quarters. So that's that one. We have this one that's the same size. And then these Reader's Digest pages. This one for my sewing journal. This one's good for a nature journal. This one's just downright cute. <laughs> this one. And this one. Oh, that was fun. I enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching too. It was just, that was just really fun. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye everybody.